Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Today is December 5th, uh, and we will cover the briefing from December 5th to December 11th. Let's get to it. All right, today was going to be dry, but as we get into tonight into Tuesday, we have a warm front that's going to be lifting north towards the area. So expect rain to be increasing coverage tonight into Tuesday. Then come Wednesday, that front stalls toward northwest, but we will have lingering precipitation chances near the Virginia border. Uh, however, areas to the south should remain dry. Come Thursday, we have a cold front that starts to move south towards the region and stalls. Uh, so we have precipitation, precipitation chances increasing again on Thursday. Uh, Friday, then we have another cold front that really pushes across the region, uh, has our be better chances of rain compared to Thursday, and will usher in a much cooler air mass for the weekend. Uh, with that warm front lifting north uh, through tomorrow, it's going to create some really mild weather across the region for the middle of the week. So Wednesday and Thursday, uh, some areas will be seeing highs in the 70s, and our lows are going to be more like what our normal highs are for this time of year. So more of that to come, but uh, dry today, and then as we get into the middle of the week, we'll be warmer, and then cool to, uh, weather re returns for the weekend after a cold front moves through on Friday. Come early next week, we have another cold front taking aim at the region and will help to increase our precipitation chances again on Monday. How much rain are we going to be getting? Well, it doesn't look like a whole lot at this time. Um, as you can see in the five-day total here in the bottom right hand of the screen, uh, highest precipitation chances or highest precipitation amounts are going to be closer to the Virginia border where they may see upwards of an inch. But as we get uh, further south towards Fayetteville, you see amounts drop off a whole lot down there. So Unfortunately, you're not expecting a whole lot, but that is good uh, as far as flooding concerns go. Let's get into those temperatures. So here's a, a glance at what the Wednesday highs could be like. And look at that. We're seeing mid-70s for areas south and upper 60s for areas to the north. So that is pretty, pretty warm for this time of year. In fact, that's 10 to 20 degrees above normal. And then overnight, we're going to have that warm air mass lingering and then a bunch of clouds, and that's going to keep our low temperatures pretty mild. So here's a glance at Thursday morning lows. Those are 20 to 25 degrees above normal. This is typically what our, our highs are for this time of year. So pretty, pretty warm for the middle of the week uh, after that warm front moves north. Oh, what's going on here? I thought the tropics were all quiet. <laughs> it's December, but you know what? Mother Nature's not done yet, apparently. Uh, so this is... New, uh, this is basically showing a 40% chance of tropical cyclone development in the next five days out here in the central Atlantic. Uh, good news, if anything does develop, it's expected to move northeast and not impact central North Carolina at this time. Uh, and as it moves northeast, it will also get into cooler waters. But um, where it is now, it, it's still in favorable conditions. Temperatures, uh, the ocean temperatures are still around 80 degrees. So it's still pretty warm out there. But if anything does develop, it'll move towards cooler waters and shouldn't last long. Nothing new here. This is the, the drought update uh, that was issued last week. Just wanted to show it real quick uh, as a reminder. Not a whole lot of change from the previous week. Still have some drought lingering across the region. Uh, even though we have rainfall starting tonight into tomorrow, it's mainly going to be light and we're not expecting any flash flooding at this time. Additionally, we're not expecting any severe weather this week at this time, so that's good news there. It should be mostly light beneficial rain. All right, here's the 8 to 14 day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. And as we get into December 12th to the 18th, no big signals for above or below normal temperatures or precipitation. We're kind of expecting right around average uh, for that period. And as far as temperatures go for December 15th in the middle of that period, Raleigh's normal high is around 55, and the normal low is 35. In summary, we're going to have a pretty active week. As you can see in the bottom here, this is the Raleigh area forecast. Uh, dry today, and then ch uh, precipitation chances start tonight into tomorrow. Uh, really low chances on Wednesday, and not much early Thursday, but then Thursday night into Friday, another front moving through the area. So a couple chances of precipitation, warm midweek after that warm front moves north, and then cooler this weekend after the cold front moves through on Friday, and then another shot of rain early next week.